Hi, this is some quick help for everyday math, third grade, home link 5.2. And this is a unit that is about place value. So this home link deals with place value. And the first thing we're going to do is comparing numbers. And just for a quick review, do you remember how to say this symbol here? That would be less than. And how would you say this symbol right here, that is going to be greater than. And we've used these before, so you should be familiar with them, but today the focus is going to be on place value for our greater than and less than um, comparisons. So as you compare these numbers, be very aware of the place value. So here I have 906, 960. This is not too hard. Look first at this place value. This is the hundreds place, 9. This is also the hundreds place, 9. In the tens place, we have 0. In the tens place, we have 6 or 60. 60 is greater than 0, so 906 is less than 960. Now, don't just fly through this home link and just do it as fast as you can. Think a little bit about each of the problems you're going to get. For example, number two. Think about how is this problem trying to trick you? There's a way they're trying to trick you with this problem. How are they trying to trick you? Just be a thinker for a minute. How are they trying to trick you? And what I think they're trying to do is they want you to say, okay, I see 5 and 7 here and 5 and 9 here. 59 is greater than 57. So it goes like that. But that's not correct. You need to think about place value. Here we have the thousands place. And here, there is no thousands place. This would be zero in the thousands place. So 5,708 is greater than 599. So as you do the rest of these, it should be okay, but just be careful to pay attention to the place value as you do it. Um, down here for number 7 and 8, you're going to use these digits to make two numbers, the smallest possible number and the largest possible number. So the smallest possible number is going to start with the smallest digit in the thousands place. There's four numbers, so you're going to have a thousand, uh, four-digit number in the thousands place. So the smallest one we have here is 3. So I'll start my number with 3 and just make the smallest possible number. For the largest possible number, possible number. The largest digit is 9, so you're going to start that one with 9 and write the largest possible number. Then, down here for number 9, write two numbers that are between the smallest and largest number. There are literally thousands of numbers that fall between the two numbers you're going to have here, so just choose any two numbers that are between those two. Uh, the next part, it says fill in the missing numbers, and here is a number line. Just be careful, this is not like a regular number line. You have to look at the pattern. Here you have 50,100, 53,100. Which place value is changing as you move along the number line? You can't just write 50,101, 50,102. You have to look at the pattern and figure out what place value is changing here. And then finally, Again, uh, for the last part, just some addition practice. Again, please write the problems on the back of the page like I always request and show your work so we can see how you're thinking. And that's all. If you have questions, please post them. And that's it. Thank you.